Hello, welcome to the Cookie Sports Podcast, and today we're going to tell you how we think the end of the year awards are going to go down. Uh, Coach of the year. Coach of the year is easy for me, I just do Zach Taylor. Zach Taylor, I think it's Nick Sariani of the Eagles. It's just it's just because of how how much the Bengals have changed from last year to this year is really improve is a huge improvement. Mine's cause the Eagles have two really good picks, their pick, and then they're also about to make the playoffs. They made the playoffs, they clinched it, and they were supposed to be a team fighting for like top they pick. If they they lost today, if the Saints win, the Saints win. No, that's for the 49ers. That's for the 49ers. Yeah, the Eagles clinched it last week. Wow. The Eagles are definitely in there. The 49ers are the people going to get kicked out when they lose the Rams. Uh, I'd be so upset if the 49ers get kicked out, honestly. I want to try not to do good. Okay, that's off topic. Well, have them beat the Rams. Have them go out there. And right, then we have comeback player of the year. Mine is my boy, Joe Burrows. And mine is Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz from went from bad, broken and down to being a really good Colts team. That's going to miss the playoffs, unfortunately. You think they're... they're they're not going to miss the playoffs. <laughs> oh, the playoffs you think they're going to lose the Jags. Him and other and MVP candidate Jonathan Taylor are going to miss the the playoffs? Yep. Unfortunately, but he, he had a great season. He had he was very like turnover prone last season. He really really cut back on that this season. That is true. He had a really good a really good step up. He is. He improved. But you know what? He's still not that Eagles form he had. He's not, not, not the 2016 Eagles, no. That was the best Carson Wentz out there. Yeah. Um, and then we have Defensive Rookie of the Year. Mine's Micah Parsons. Mine's Micah Parsons. He's <laughs> so fast, so strong, he does all so the scary. Things. He's like, hey, I'll play coverage and I'll stop the run. And you know what? You want me to blitz? I'll go get the sack. You could have me in a three technique. You can have me... Backed up on my toes. It's fine. Yeah, you can just do whatever you want. Anyway, anywhere you want me, I'll be there. Oh. Then we have Offensive Rookie of the Year. I have Mac Jones. Mine's Jamar Chase. Really? Yeah. What a guy. Dude, the Bengals, they're, they're pretty nice, gotta say. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I agree. That's, that's why I have the next slot. But mine is Mac Jones. Mac Jones is the only quarterback who did good this year, so that's just what it is. There's, there's hey, Trey Lance did good in like Trey well, Lance did good, but he didn't play he, enough. He didn't do good in his first couple Justin starts. Justin Fields didn't do good enough. His system is not <laughs> built around him. There's, I don't think there's a receiver close enough to to just the same production level as Mac Jones. Jamar like, Chase. I, yeah, I but I have Jamar Chase as my rookie of the year. See, my rookie of the year is Micah Parsons. Mm, fair enough. Because all the reasons I just said, so good. Oh, I wanted him so bad, but I knew he wasn't going to fall to me. And then we have Offensive Player of the Year. I have Jonathan Taylor. You have Jonathan Taylor? Yeah. He, I mean, you, you can throw it out between him and Cooper Cup. I just think Jonathan Taylor over him. I was gonna say Jonathan Taylor too. So good job. I agree. He's so good. I watched him. The Raiders tried so hard to stop him, but he was just like, "Hey, you know what? You hit me right here. I'm gonna go four yards that way with like three of you on me. It's fine." Yeah. No, for reals. He, like, well, he, he's he's just he's just like a really really good. He's like uh, what's his name? Todd Gurley. It's kind of the same kind of player. Yeah. It's fun to watch them. And then we have the Defensive Player of the Year. I have Trayvon Diggs. Trayvon Diggs? I still have Micah Parsons. Yeah, you think Mark? Dude! Good for you, man. Good, 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 good for you. I think he deserves it. I, I don't. I, I think he did really good this year. I think he shows crazy potential, but he's got some ways to go. Bro, ugh. Like, he will, like, two, three years for sure. It's fine. I believe in him that much. He's the only rookie that's in the conversation of any of the top awards. And he's like this. He's he's above Miles Garrett. Dude, yeah, he's he's above. Uh, I mean, I, I I would pick him like number three, I, I, like as like all t- as like defensive rookie of the year this year, or defensive player of the year. Well, he's he's my defensive player of the year. And then we have MVP. You go ahead. 
I still have Jonathan Taylor. You know you think Jonathan Taylor? I have TJ as my MVP. I have TJ wow. as my MVP. I think I think well, I told especially you Especially if we get in the playoffs, I think he's gonna be MVP. Well, I said he deserves it if he gets you guys to the playoffs, which he would have done, but the Colts are fun fact gonna beat the Jags. Dude, there was two games. There's two games that we needed to go one way this season that could have changed it. If the Chiefs beat the Bengals, this would be a whole other game this week. Well, the but Bengals they, have the Bengals beat the Chiefs. So Jamari Chase, Joe Burrows, Joe Mixon, T.J. Higgins. Uh, Scary. They're, they're fine. They don't even have a line, but that doesn't matter. The line isn't a factor at this point. 